Hi, I'm Ted. Today I'm going to show you how to chart tides in Excel. Uh, the first thing you need to do before you chart the, the tides is you need to find a source of the, you, you basically need to find a tide table. And I went uh, to the internet and I found a tide table. It happens to be for Bass Harbor, Maine. And I have it here on a spreadsheet. And I'll just tell you that I had to do a little bit of um, a little do, a bit of work to um, to get everything in a form that will be plotted. So, for instance, the height uh, originally uh, the numbers said like here. Let me just scroll in here, where it says 8.9. It originally said 8.9 feet. So I went through and I did a, a replace, it, it, and I just did a search. I selected the whole spreadsheet. And I said uh, I wanted to find everything that where there was a space and then FT because there was a space between the number and the FT. And I just said I did a global replace. I replaced all. So everywhere there was a space FT, I deleted it. I just said replace it with nothing. And I did a couple other things like all the times said either said EDT or EST for Eastern Daylight Time or Eastern Standard Time. So in all the times, and, and it was a very quick thing to do. I went through and I just did a global uh, select of everything and then I said find space EDT and then I replaced it with nothing. And that changed the times into something that Excel will recognize as, some, as something that I can plot. Um, in other words, it needs to be a numeric value, not a text value in order to, to plot it. So Excel knows that when you have something that looks like a, a time, 4, 40, you know, 4 colon 40 p.m., it knows that, that you know, it, it, it's a numeric value. So anyway, um, it's important to know because there, there's, no, there's no formula for the tide in a given place because the tides are so dependent on, um, they, of course they're dependent on the phase of the moon, uh, your latitude and longitude, but they're also dependent on uh, the, the features of the ocean floor, the, the, the coastline, any you know, large neighboring islands. There's all kinds of things that can affect the, the actual time and the height of the tides. So you need to find a tide table and start with that. So let's, let's just do some plots here. First, let's just plot the, the time of the AM high tide versus date. And this is, again, for Bass Harbor, Maine, every day in January 2012. So we're going to select the, um, well, actually, let's just go to the chart menu. And we're going to select a scatter plot and just uh, one with, um, uh, actually, let's do one with, uh, with lines between them um, and straight lines between them. And now we're going to go up to select, and it may look different depending on your operating system and your version of Excel, but for, for my uh, setup, I go to the charts menu and I do select, it might say select data, and I go and I add a data set, and the X values are going to be the days of the month, so I'm going to go from the 1st to the 31st of January. And then for the Y values, um, let me just scroll in so you can see what I'm doing here. Um, I'm going to I'm going to select the uh, let me scroll out here. I'm going to select the time of the AM high tide. So I'll go down and select the value. Um, and let me just zoom in so you can see where I am. I just went down to where it's uh, the the value next to January 31st. So. That's my X and my Y values, and I'm just going to, for name, I'm just going to go up here and I'm just going to type in AM high tide, and um, I'm going to say OK, and there we have a plot. So uh, I'm just going to bring it down to where we can see it, and so there we have the time of the AM high tide on January 1st. It was 4.48, um, it surely wasn't 4.48 p.m. 4.48 a.m. down here, and it gradually changed until it, we got to 12 p.m., and then it was shortly after 12 a.m., shortly after midnight, and if you, you know, use the tides, if you're a fisherman or a surfer or whatever, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So I hope this has been helpful. Again, I'm Ted, and today I showed you how to uh, chart tides in Excel. Thank you for watching.